Hello again. Welcome back to Hangar 51. Uh, today we're going to talk about the uh, the Tyrannus Plus um, telemetry. Um, this is probably uh, this is probably the main reason I bought this radio. It definitely one of the main reasons. Um, you know, trying trying to set a timer for you know when my batteries are running out and uh, you know if I'm flying too far away. You know, how do I know I still have a good radio signal? This solves all those problems for you. It's just a wonderful, wonderful um, thing. Well, I, I think once, that's probably the the best part about this radio. And I know there's other radios that have it too, but I'm going to show you what I did. How do I set this up? And I think you'll agree that uh, you won't you won't want to fly a model without this option ever again once you see how I've set it up how easy it is to set up and what it does for you so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the camera over here and um, and we're gonna look at the screens I'm gonna demonstrate how it works what I did to make it work and what I did to set it up to respond the way I want it to, to give me the information I want it to give me. So uh, so let's get inside the radio, take a look at setting up the telemetry. Um, I think you're really going to like this. So let's take a look. Okay, so let me show you how this works. Um, this is just a speed control for power to the re receiver. This is the FreeSky uh, X6R receiver. So this has the telemetry. Um, the S port here is here. Here's your wire out of the S port. This wire comes with the sensor. When you buy a sensor, like for instance, this is a battery sensor, um, it'll go up to a six cell pack. You just plug the balance lead onto here. And there you have it. And you've got this beautiful readout. Uh, 3S 12.43 volts and then it gives you the individual cells 4.14, 4.14, 4.12 so now when the receiver is powered up this information is going to be transmitted to the transmitter so I'm going to show you that um, so let's power it up power up the transmitter now that you can just leave this because right now basically all this is is a battery checker okay and you could use it for that and it's th these are cheap I mean this is I think a $12 12 or $14 sensor is what this is and you can and that's how much a battery checker is but this will set the send the telemetry too so you could actually buy these uh, you know I, I have one for every receiver I have now and you know, if, I, if one of these is handy and I forgot my balance, my battery checker, I just use this because it does the exact same thing. Um, same price, but this will send telemetry. So, so all right, let's plug this in. Oh, wait a minute. First, let's let's turn on the radio. Welcome to Open TX. Okay. And let's make sure. You know, you want to select the model you're going to do this to. So, uh, you menu, and then go down your list and pick the model you're going to pick. I'm going to stay with my uh, P47 that I put in twice because it's for this for this demo. But select the model you're going to use. Okay, and then we're going to power this up. Okay, so now receiver's powered up. Let me turn the volume up. Twelve point four volts. Okay, so it's giving me twelve point four volts. So that voltage is below um below the pack voltage. Volts. And I'll show you why it's doing that. How you set that up. But it's already giving me a below pack voltage. Um, actually, let's, uh, well, that's okay. Let's do this. All right. 
So in in the menu screen here, twelve point four volts. You hit menu, page. All right, I'm gonna turn the volume down. Okay, that's page two, page three, page four, page five, page six, page seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, logical switches. That's what page. This is on page ten. Logical switches. What this is is this is a switch that happens due to the condition that the telemetry is sending you, as opposed to flipping a switch on the radio. This is a logical switch that is activated by the telemetry. And what it is is L1. Okay, and it doesn't matter which order you put them in, but this is the order I just put them in. Uh, L1 is A is less than X okay so what that means is a is RSSI that's what I've assigned as a is less than in a value 48 so when I fly far enough away that my signal strength is less than 48 it's gonna activate logical switch and that's what has to happen first before it can tell me you know, I have to go set up now what I wanted to do when this happens. So that's going to be the next step. But right now, you can see that um, L3 is bold because 14.8, we're below that. So since we're below the, the uh, voltage, that's why it's already notifying me because I have my single cell, which is A less than cell, 3.7. Okay, well my pack, my this pack is, this this actually is set up for a four cell pack, and that's why we're getting the warning on the three cell, um, for the pack voltage, but not the, not the individual cell, because my lowest cell is only 4.12 volts, it's not going to notify me until it drops to 3.7, but since the pack voltage is set up for four cell, this is the three cell, it's already registering that the three cell pack is lower voltage than the four. 14.8 so it's notifying me okay so let's go back to um, oh, well let's just go to the next screen because that's where okay so we're now we're on the screen 11 the special function screen this is where you, you tell it how you want it to be notified all right so we're going to scroll down here and I'll show you what, what I did okay so now when you're adding stuff to the special function screen it doesn't matter you know what order it's in like if you're adding gear up gear down commands flap up flap down it doesn't matter what order it's in when it happens it's going to pick it off this list and play it so that order doesn't make any difference where the order makes a difference is for instance on the logical switch one everything that you have on logical switch one is going to happen top to bottom in the order you put it on the screen so that's the only time it matters what order you're in so I have on my first line logical switch one play sound and it's siren okay that's the whoop whoop so and that's what I chose you can pick whatever sound you want it beeps it you know whatever you can even add your own sounds if you want um, no problem uh, that's just the sound I picked and it's gonna play it every 10 seconds because that's what I set it for can set it for one time or, or as often as you want every 30 seconds every five seconds you know if you set it for every five seconds whoever's standing next to you at the field is probably going to want to shoot you because it's going to get real annoying so but um, anyway got it set at 10 and then uh, the other one on logical switch one is play value RSSI okay that's my signal strength uh, like I showed you on the other screen I have it set for 48 so once my signal strength drops below 48 again every 10 seconds it's going to read me that value it's not just going to say you're out of range it's going to tell me 46 45 whatever my signal strength is it's going to tell me what the strength is the value so that's that's so that's logical switch one logical switch two same thing play siren play sound siren every 10 seconds play single cell the lowest cell in the pack value so at the lowest um, so 
So it's on, as soon as it plays, as soon as it reaches that the lowest value of the, the lowest cell, it's going to play that value, which is, you know, I have it set for 3.7. And then the pack voltage, cells, okay, same thing, play sound, siren, every 10 seconds, play value, the total value of the pack, and that's what it's doing right now. 12.4 volts. There's the siren and 12.5 volts, 12.4 volts. What did, what did she just say? I don't know. Give me a second and we'll hear it again. 12.4 volts. Okay, 12.4 volts. So that's that one. And again, it's it's bold, it's active. That switch has already been switched by the telemetry. 12.4 volts. Okay, let me get out of this, these screens now and show you something else. The information that the telemetry is sending you is also on the radio right now. You don't have to set any of this up. Just like here. Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. Twelve point four volts. You know, just on our little our little screen here, showing the voltage. Twelve point four volts. If you press the page button and hold it. Okay, now we're on the telemetry screen. Here's our our signal strength is ninety five. Twelve point four. There's your voltages. 4.14, 4.14, 4.14, 4.14, 4 4.12, 4.12. So there it is. It's on the radio. You don't have to do anything to get that once you've activated the telemetry. But if you want it to tell you audibly, that's when you have to set up the logical switch and the virtual switch to or the special function. So you have to do the, the logical switch and the special function, and then she'll talk to you and tell you whatever, however you set it up, whatever you want it. If you just want an alarm to go off, you can have that. If you actually want the value, you can have that. 12.4 you know. volts. So, and as often as you want. So, that's pretty much it, guys. It's not um, you know, great, great function. Really, really love. Volts. This is one of the best things about this radio is the telemetry. I am so hooked on this now flying my model and when it's time to land you know she starts talking to me and giving me my voltages and then I know just how soon I need to land and there's just nothing I just can't tell you what a, what a feeling that is to know while you're flying especially a plane that you got a lot of money in or a lot of time in and you just don't want to but you know you don't want to crash it what a feeling that gives you of security to know that she's going to talk to you and she's going to make sure that you if you've run out of battery it's your own fault because she's telling you you know that you're low and if you're not listening well then it's definitely pilot error so okay well there you have it not too hard to do um, great option definitely solves all the problems with uh, you know when, when is it time to land am I going to puff my batteries am I going to be dead sticking in you know, if I'm FPVing, you know, am I getting too far away? Um, definitely, uh, definitely fixes all those issues, and it does it in such a great way. And there's other ways to set it up. This is just the way I did it. You, the options are pretty much unlimited. So, um, so if you like what I did, you know, comment below, like me here on uh, YouTube, like me on Facebook, and we'll see you on the next review. Talk to you later. Bye bye.